How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So let's go ahead and go in here. We do technically have a couple other side quests we could do, and a bunch of bounties we can get done, but there's a reason I'm doing this first, because we'll get to those anyway. Wow, look, everyone. It's enormous in here. And my goodness. Just it's mom. Uh, airship. You know, it's a huge ship. A ship? Well, if it is, it's a pretty flippin' weird one. I mean, it's made out of metal for a start. And it hasn't got even got a sail. No, it hasn't. So how could how does it move? It flies. It uses its engines, of course. Hang on. You lot don't know what it is, do you? Well Oliver does. It's a flying ship. They call them airships. This is an airship? Then does that mean... Yup. I reckon it does. We found the King of the Sky Pirates hideout. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Skull Mountain, Den of the Sky Pirates. Brilliant. So Kablai must be somewhere aboard. Hang on a second. Is this this is if this is the Sky Pirates hideout, where are all the flippin' Sky Pirates? We'd best be careful, you lot. Gee, I wonder how it flies. Do you think he'll let us ride it? Oh my goodness. Oliver, this is no time to be daydreaming about flying ships. Oh, uh, sorry, you're right. We need to find the map of the stones, huh? Blimey, you're such a kid. I mean, he is. He's like 12 years old. S sorry it won't happen again. <laughs> Only kidding. I know just how you feel. Let's concentrate on the stones for now, shall we? Sure, Swain. Let's sneak aboard and see what we can find. Because this is totally not going to wreak any havoc on us at all. Well, there's a save point. Restore health and MP, I guess. Yay. That didn't do anything for me. <laughs> What's over here? Absolutely nothing. And yeah, okay. Guess we're boarding the ship. Let's go. Wow, it's so big. It's hard to believe something so huge can f actually fly. Oi, you lot. Don't you think we're getting a bit too close a bit too easily? This is what usually happens before. Avast! Who goes there? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. A flippin' ambush! Uh, oh, no. So you filthy thieves are here to plunder our plunder? No. <laughs> I'd take a look in the mirror before calling someone a filthy thief, my friend. Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. Oh, yeah, why don't we say that in front of their face, too? You knew that, girl. Why would you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? You're either mighty brave or mighty stupid. Okay, now there's one behind me. Nickers! We're flipping trapped. Trapped, I tell you. Oh, we could jump in the water. Hi, Kablai. That's Kablai. That's him, is it? Crikey. Look at the face on him. That's gruesome. We we came here to speak to you. That's right. We have a favor to ask, Captain Kablai, sir. <laughs> you stroll uninvited into my mountain stronghold hoping to be granted a favor? What are you? Would be heroes come to take back your plundered treasure? <laughs> no. Hmm? By the skies. Boy, I'll hear you out. Come aboard. He sees he sees Mordenstar, he's like, oh, that, oh. Hmm. It's quite a tale, lad. Aye. Tis true that I plundered that map, and I'd do it again. That lily-livered fop of a prince had it coming to him. Yeah. Hey, don't talk about Markson like th Not now, Esther. We need those magic stones. Yes, we do. 
We need them to help us defeat Shadar. By the skies, Shadar. You mean to cross swords with the Dark Jinn? That we do. We've got to stop him before he breaks the hearts of everyone in our world, ain't it? Yeah, yours included. <laughs> You've come aboard my ship and dare to compare me to the sniveling wretches who fall prey to Shadar. Let him try and break me. I'll show the scurvy dog what it means to face a true adversary. Great. Well, I'll say this is for him. He's not lacking for confidence. Should I to be sniffed at? There's none knows that better than I, fairy. So, if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be possessed if the skulls... You'll be possessed of the skills to do so, I take it. Aye, of course you are. So this'll be child's play for heroes such as your... Wait, what? Don't fret, lad. It's just a little test of your swashbuckling skills. All in a day's work for a battle-hardened warrior such as yourself. <laughs> huh? What's that sound? Oh boy. Hi. You're adorable. Do I have to fight you? I'm not afraid of that thing. That thing's adorable. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> I can't choose the right thing. Dang it. Oh, uh, I see what that is. That was the thing I was supposed to defend, wasn't it? You know what? Freeze. Freeze, furball. You got no fur on you at all. Oh. Oh boy. Um. Freeze. How much damage does Frostbite do on you? Oh, yeah, ice is definitely a weakness. This is gonna take a while, though. I've never seen a dragon this big before, Mom. The flippin' thing looks proper vicious. Actually, it looks adorable. Our only hope is poison. Oh. Oh, that would be nice to know. Poison. Do I even have that? Fling flame, defend. No. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I've got draw poison. But I don't got no poison poison. Burning him? Ah, butts. You know, or we can do this the hard way. Freeze him. A bajillion times, because that it says that's his weakness. But Dragons hate poison, but I got no poison. Deck damn it. This is gonna take a while, but so, I feel like it's time to resort to something other than just using ice on the guy a bajillion times. I mean, I know he's weak to it and all, but this ain't working very well for me. Oh, good job. You you defended the front of your face. That's, that's, that's totally what you wanted to do, isn't it? You wanted to defend the front of your face. Also, I may or may not have, um... Ah! Suck it. 
I may or may not have had Esther get killed in the process of getting to this point. Ow. Shoot. Alright, well. Death by cat it is for ya. Actually, you're pretty much recharging. And you're dead. Game says he's weak to freaking poison, but, uh... I used ice and it brought him down pretty quick. Yep, that's it, Swain. That's all there was. He ain't got nothing on the power of my strength. What the heck? Hey, K. Hey, K. K, K. Pretty blue learned heat ray. Parasy reached level 24. SR 32. Lame all 20. Sun bum. Shonky reached level 29. Wow. Everyone's reaching new. Ooh. Well, now. That's not many face the old girl's breath and come away unsigned, lad. You're a plucky one, and no mistake. I don't know how to feel about that statement, but. Arg? <laughs> I, I feel arg. What? Why would you set her on us if you knew she was that dangerous? Yaman, what are you doing calling a massive great big dragon all of a sudden like that? I nearly flippin' wet myself. Silence dogs. I'll ask the questions here. The wand, where did you get it? What does it matter to you? We won't let you have it, no matter what you do to us. It matters to me, girl, because the cursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What queen? Never you mind. Now, follow me. The map's aft in my cabin. You're gonna tell the white witch. Great. Alright, grumpy guts. We're still the good guys, right? I only ask because the king of the sky pirates appears to like us. Eh? You're kidding, ain't you? We did it, Oliver. Let's go and look at the map. What are you worms waiting for? Move your scurvy carcasses. All right, all right, all right. This is what you came here for. The map of the stones. This here... X marks... Where the stones must be hidden. A remote island? Hmm, makes sense, I suppose. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a ship. Let's sail there and find them. Pipe down, girl. Do you think the beats of the boats of those seafaring simpletons could reach where even the mighty iron wyvern could not go? Eh? What the flip are you on about? It's a sight more complicated than that. The wyvern here is too large to land on Solitary Isle. And the seas around the r that rotten little rock are riddled with reefs. Jeepers! So we can't get to the stones? Don't start sniveling just yet, lad. There's a way there, alright. On the back of Tangri, Winged Dragon, and Master of the Skies. That's right there. That's why I'm not doing those other side quests yet. It makes me feel R, but I don't like... I don't think I got much of a choice. Well, I do have a choice for one of them, but I'm not going to do it yet. None flies faster or higher than the bride of my pack of wild worms. Crikey, that's impressive sounding. Come on, then. What is this Tengri? Well, now, fairy, there's the rub. Tengri has been struck down with the dreaded lurgy and flies no longer. What are you talking about? We just... Didn't you just call in Tengri? Or was that a different dragon? I think it was Tengri. I don't know. Lurgy? You mean he's sick? Gah! Nothing's ever easy, is it? Yeah. Welcome to life, Swain. <laughs> don't speak so soon. We have the mighty wizard Oliver on our sight after all. Hmm? You mean to heal him? Well, we can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. 
Ollie boy here, here's got a spell or two up his sleeve that might get your dragon friend back on the wing. Yes, you must have something that will work, Oliver. Let's go and meet the dragon, shall we? Sure. Where can we find Tenry, Captain Kalai? No doubt the great lump will be cowering in a corner of the cave somewhere, feeling sorry for himself. See what you can do. Thanks. Come on, everyone. We have a dragon to save. I hope we can help him. You lot love nothing more than a charter case, do you? And that's such a bad thing, Swain. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Should be over meow. Should appear over meow. Hi, Tengri. <coughs> Crikey, this dragon looks like he'd lose a fight with the fly, Mum. Not like that one we just fought. Proper feisty he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Drippy. What's up with you then, Tanny boy? Ungrot, is it? Tashaponic? <coughs> Come on, Mum. Can't help you if you just stand there, groaning like that. Uh, I guess he's trying to say something to us. In, you know, dragon. You sure, Ollie boy? Well, if you say so, let's have a lesson then. Oh, you mean... Flippin' heck, man! Look lively, will you? You're gonna make me feel arr if you keep doing this. That makes... That, that doesn't even fit you, Drippy, sorry. How many animals have you spoken now? To now? Like, three, I think. Maybe more. I'm not keeping track, Jervy. You still don't know what to do? Cast that spell, ain't it? I did know. I was just going to say that. Where is it? Alright, little boy. Hello, Tangri. Wanted to talk with you, if that's okay. Yeah, we heard you a bit poorly. A bit poorly, ain't it? Tell us what's up, man. Maybe we can help, like. And nothing. Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tangri? Poor thing. Right there. He won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You wanna fly again, don't you, Tangri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Alright. Go on. I I feel strange. Is it me who isn't me? Another me. And he's sick, so so I can't fly. Another Tengri? Do you think he means? Yep. Of course, he's got a soulmate over in Ollie's world. Ollie's world, ain't it? You mean back in motor? No. North Shalan. Actually, Shalan is an actual place, so never mind. <laughs> like Myrtle and I? But Tengri's a dragon. That happens too, eh, Ollie boy? We've seen people with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? You mean like Timmy and King Tom? Should we have? Exactly! And I reckon Tengri's super sensitive animal mind means he can tell what's going on with his soulmate over by there. What are you lot talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. Let's leave it let's leave it that way, Swain. It's probably for the best. <sighs> I really can't be but it really can't be bothered to explain to you now. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tengri, the other you is sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry. We're going to make him better. So you'll be able to fly again soon. Really? Really. And when you can fly again, do you think you might let us ride on your back? Um, yes. Alright. I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tengri. We'll help you, I promise. Gee, Esther, that was amazing. It was, eh? I got so used to the girl, I clean forgot she had such a way with animals. I suppose she is a familiar keeper after- Well, no dip! Hehe, <laughs> Tengri's not a familiar, silly. No, and he's mu he's not much of a dragon either, the massive wimp. Oh, come on, Swain! You'd be a wimp too if your soulmate was sick. Or have you forgotten what it's like to be attached to, to be attacked by such? Have you forgotten what it's like to be attacked by Shadar? No. 
And I won't forget it in a hurry, either. Ingebot! How come she never stepped in like that when we had to fight that flippin' red dragon? I'm sure we can do something to help Tangri. Come on. Let's go tell Captain Kabai. I think the reason is because she probably realized it was just a test of strength or something. I'll leave it for now. Don't want to stir up trouble. Drippy! Bad. No. Drippy, no. No, do not. Arg, Drippy, arg! <laughs> Alright, let's go over to Motorville. Hate me. Let's go! Been a while since we've been back to Motorville, actually. I don't remember... What was the last episode we were actually there? <laughs> See, I can run faster than the car. <laughs> hey, no, no, stay. You are my banana. I'm gonna eat you. I haven't had fruit in a while. Come on. <laughs> that made sense. Are we are we creating traffic here? Should I just stand here and start dancing? Just like do the thriller. <laughs> I don't know. Fine. Just. Go, 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 get, get. Where am I supposed to go? I know somewhere in Motorville. I'm supposed to go somewhere here. But... Did I create this spell too soon or something? Wait a minute. Oh, duh. Probably supposed to tell Captain Kablai what's going on, aren't I? That's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Ain't it? Okay, I don't like that, though. Yeah, have to tell Captain Kablai first. Son of a butt. Ay! The one ain't ready to tell Captain Kablai. But I guess we're telling him anyway. There he is, just squabbling up in the side over there. Uh, hey, Captain. Well? Did you discover what has made a mouse of my once mighty dragon? Well, we've got an idea, yeah? Grrrr! Then I suggest you find the cure, fairy. I shall look forward to seeing it. Oh. And so you don't get yourselves killed in the meantime, have this. Cool! Gee! Is this one of those treats that make familiars meta, uh, meta for, uh, change? <laughs> that it is, boy. I can't, I couldn't help but notice you're using familiars when you were fighting. Yeah, for the end game. <laughs> for the most part, I was spamming frostbite on your dragon, dude. What a scurvy bunch of scrags they were. Tis little wonder old red almost caught cooked you. He really didn't. Okay, maybe he cooked Esther, but he didn't almost cook me. I'm fine. Now, if but one of your familiars had eaten that drop I just gave you and reached the final stage of its development, you'd have better... you have... You'd have beaten her easily. Hang on, Mom. I thought we did beat her easily. We did. I mean, I hardly broke a sw- Mr. Trippy. Thank you, Captain Kablai. I have a finished boy. Every creature turns into one of two different types at the final stage of its development. It's up to you to choose the one you want. Got all that? Good. If you've any sense, You'll use as many of these drops as you can find. And if you can't find any, make your own. Oh, cool, thanks. Gee, another formula, thanks. Right then, Oliver. Drops and familiars are all very interesting, but sorting old Tengri out's our top priority, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. We need to head over to Motorville and find Tengri's soulmate. Yeah. Weeder. But first, I do want to check something. This. 
Okay, so those are hunted, but they're not complete. Like, they're not turned in. Good to know. Okay, we'll take care of that in a little bit. Anyway, Motorville time. Actually, I was going to do this beforehand anyway. I don't even know what that sound was. Here, have some dumplings. Ooh. That's helpful. Percy's familiar increased to two. You can now increase Percy's ability to up to 20 times. Percy's attack increased by two points. Cool. Yum yum in your tom tom. Who's stronger, Percy or... Oh, uh-uh, no. Percy, eh, ooh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna make things difficult for me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go and help Tangri. Let's see what we can do for the bastard. Arr, I'm feeling very arr, you need to finish this right. Feeling arg. Arg? I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Morn Star was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadow? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the one, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That's true. Dear Lord Dallas, you will use that spell. The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior. <laughs> that is what interesting to think about. Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is Shadar who has been charged with a boy's disposal. Yeah. That's true. Take over the guardians. We awaken the keepers of the stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, your radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The keepers of the stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am honored. Use your new. That was a large pause, Shadar. The Wizard King's most faithful servant. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Right here, Ollie boy. You need to find Tinkley's soulmate then, ain't it? Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean, uh, somebody dragon-like? Eh, fearsome would have been the better term, but whatever. Come on, Mum. You know everyone in town, don't you? You can't think who it might be. Just ask around, ain't it? I can think of who it might be. Don't know where they are, though. Hi, Myrtle. What's up? Long time no see. Oh, hi, Oliver. Hi, Myrtle. Long time... Yeah, I literally just said those exact words. Arr! <laughs> How's it been working for Miss... How's it been working for Miss Layla? I love it. And I'm getting better all the time. Okay, Smash Mouth. 
I know the names and prices of everything in the store now. Very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm sorry, by the way. I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made it my business to protect these poor kids here. I'm what you might call their guardian. Uh, you know she can't hear you, don't you? You what? He, people from this world can't see or hear us, silly. This girl is my soulmate. Can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can. Now that you mention it. Yama, yeah, they look just like each other, ain't it? They don't act the same, mind. Thank goodness for that. Hey! That's not very nice. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oliver, can you hear what? Wait, what? Uh, no? No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, don't you know what they call me at runtime these days? People started calling me the Dairy Fairy. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. <laughs> that's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> You know, that's so great, Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. Yeah, it's probably for the better. <laughs> no, it is for the better. You mean now they don't call me Starry Murray anymore? <laughs> yeah, I guess things have changed. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Uh-oh. There's a mad dog on the loose. Strange. I think I know him from somewhere. Pretty sweet though. Um, no. <laughs> hey there, Genshin. Gen Gen oh, Genghis. Hey there, Genghis. Are you out on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog. It's. That's right. It's Denny's dog. You know, Denny lives next door to me. They're always out walking together. Well, I guess you couldn't really call it a walk. Call it walking. As soon as school's out, the two of them go running off together out all over town. But I haven't seen Denny lately. Even though you live next door? That's weird. It is, huh? I always know when he leaves the house, I hear him laughing and hollering. At least, I did until recently. You mean he hasn't been going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like I was. Heartbroken? Cricky, you mean now we've cured Starry Mary, we've got Glary Carey to deal with? <laughs> Alright, as stupid as you are, Drippy, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> Typical. Glary? Carey? Mr. Drippy? What man? I thought she couldn't flip and hear me. <laughs> what are you getting so worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. Huh? Genghis? What do you want? Looks like another case for the heroic wizard who can talk to the animals. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tengu soulmate, but... Please, can we speak to Genghis? Sure. Let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. I need to ask Gen Genghis what's wrong. Uh, uh, sure. How exactly? Oh, I, uh, I, I mean, I need to see if he has any clues. You know, being Denny's pet at all. Shut up, man! You're making it worse. Hehe, <laughs> you can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyway, I have to open the store. I'll see you around, okay? I mean... Okay. Wait. I'm blind. Thank you. Okay. Nature's tongue, where are you? Right there. <sighs> Why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you? My master, he's in trouble. Blame me! Sounds serious. Oh, you're listening now, are you? And you can see us? Sure I can. Not exactly easy to miss. Come, you suddenly started listening. Of course. Of course. You can see us because animals are all sensitive to that, ain't it? Oh, and we were listening, dog face. We just couldn't understand till Ollie Boy cast the spell, ain't it? Girl? Well, you seemed so upset we had to find a way of speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us, isn't there? Can I guess, sweetie? Girl? Sweetie? Oh, sorry. I mean, Mr. Kangas, sir. 
<sighs> Stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master Denny is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. And I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can call me Genghis. I can swear I know someone who talks just like you. Uh, yeah. Kabli. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. In fact, doesn't Genghis kind of look like somebody we know too? It's Mr. Genghis, Oliver. Yes. I had the same feeling. Kabli. Definitely Kabli. <laughs> who the flip could it be now? Yep. <laughs> Arr, I can't believe they didn't get it there. <laughs> How could we not have spotted it? Just look at his expression. Huh! Could be the old pirate face's head on another body. Now I look at it properly. That's sharp height of you, Ollie boy. He talks just like him, too. Kind of rough. <laughs> it's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kablai keeps dragons, but here, he's somebody's pet. <laughs> hey, do you think. Well, spit it out. Tengri saw me. Could he be Denny? Yep. <laughs> nice observation, Oliver. What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? Oh, I get you. Kaplai and Tengri are proper close, ain't it? So it makes sense Genghis here would be close with Tengri's soulmate. Exactly. That would mean Kublai's pet in our world is his master in this one. The old switcheroo, eh? The <laughs> classic stuff. Uh, stop yapping and listen to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genghis, sir. Are you listening now? Good. Until recently, my master and I spent all our time training. You did, huh? I used to see you running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream. For my master's dream of making the state championships. You were helping him train? <sighs> I just said that, didn't I? Anyway, he didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy, after all. <sighs> Tell me about it. <laughs> but he didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. What's the spirit? That's just what I imagined someone with a friend like you would do. Then, it happened. <laughs> Maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself into it, did he? Is that why he's not been out and about lately? I didn't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine. And by the time I noticed, it was too late. So, what's behind it all, then? What's behind it all, eh? <laughs> he lost his confidence. He was so convinced he would make the team next time, and then suddenly, he was different. Hey, I bet he's... Hot broken? Could be, Ali Boy. Could well be. That would explain why Tangri can't fly, too, huh? Then we have to help him, Mr. Genghis, sir. Can, we take, can you take us to your master? <laughs> you think you can fix him? <laughs> Fools! He's seen all the best doctors, and they couldn't help. What makes you so special? It's nothing a doctor can fix, Mom. It's his heart, see? It's broken. If we just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Genghis, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help Denny. Mm, fine. But if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in our backyard garden. You know our house, don't you? I'll wait, you, I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Some old story, eh? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in Kablai owing us one in this world as well. <laughs> Hi, Myrtle. You're still here, Oliver. Did Genghis give you any clues? He sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Denny's hurt. He is? Oh, that's terrible. I had no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genghis? Okay, yeah. I, no, I just figured it out. And it's worse than that. I think his heart may be broken too. I have to help him. 
I have to mend him. S sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not. But I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Hey, Oliver. Can I come with you? Danny and I were good friends once. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I can help you this time. Gee, Myrtle, thank you. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> She's a nice girl, eh? <laughs> of course she is. She's my soulmate. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, Drippy, your expression to that. Priceless. But we will go and help um, get these souls mended next time. For right now, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. After our next episode, we'll probably start doing a bunch of side quests before actually going and looking for the stones. But for right now, thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. Army mateys, if you really liked her, consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. Uh, Want to check out a one other at this point just one other uh, game I've done by level five didn't finish it but I did a bit of it just kind of as a first look thing click the link in the bottom right corner trying to take you to that destination for the stops that I did do take you guys on if you want to check out any stops you missed on this ride so far though link across my head here trying to take you to those in the meantime we're going off to our next destination but we hope to catch you guys in another ride bye.